Welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at ways to fix no sound in Windows 10. Firstly, we need to find out where the issue is. Right click on the sound icon in the taskbar and select open volume mixer. This should show the applications that are currently playing sound, as well as the output device used to play these. Try playing a sound, like a song or video, and check if you see the green and grey bar matching the sound played. If you do see the sound level changing, but hear no sound, the device you are using is probably faulty, as Windows is playing the sound, but you are unable to hear it. There are some fixes to try for this though, so stay tuned. Ensure that all the sliders match, so you could try dragging them all to 10, so that they would all adjust together. If you don't see any moving bar, it's likely that Windows isn't configured correctly to play sound to your chosen device. Alright, so let's look at some fixes. No matter what happened in the last test, it's worth trying this. I always recommend restarting your PC if you haven't already, especially if the issue just occurred. Feel free to do this now, and then return to the video. If that failed, let's look at some other potential solutions. Right click on the sound icon again, but this time go to sounds. Then click on playback devices. This will display all the devices that are currently enabled to play sound. Make sure you are able to see disconnected and disabled devices, so right click in the space and check the two options. This will now show all the devices that are able to play sound. If you see your device, make sure it's enabled. You can enable it by right clicking on it and selecting enable. If you're still playing sound in the background, the green bar next to the device should show the level of volume. Again, if you see this but don't hear sound, it's more likely that your device itself is faulty. You can try all the devices one by one, just in case one of them works. It's a good way to test if it's a problem with Windows or your device. If you don't see your device, for example your headphones aren't on the list, even though they are plugged in, then for some reason, Windows isn't recognising them. Let's focus on why this might be next. It could be a fault with the port, so change this if you're able. If it is a USB device, try another slot, perhaps on the back of the PC. There should also be 3.5mm audio inputs on the back too, so try this if that's what your device uses. If this doesn't work, unfortunately it's more likely that the device or cables are broken. You can check this by using your speakers or headphones on another device. If they do work on another device, there might be some compatibility issues. Try searching for your exact make and model of output device to see if there's others with the same issue. It could also be software that's causing it. If you use any additional audio software, try disabling that or start your PC in safe mode. I'll leave a link on how to do this in the description. If your device works in safe mode, then software compatibility issues are the likely cause as to why your device isn't being recognised. Everyone can try the next possible solution and it's easy to do. Search troubleshoot in the search bar and then find the playing audio option. It should be second down on the list. Click on it and then run the troubleshooter. Windows will look for common problems and try to fix them for us, or tell us what the problem might be. Follow the troubleshooter and see what Windows suggests. If your output device is being recognised, let's make sure that the settings are as they should be. Navigate back to the playback tab in the sound settings and highlight your chosen device and set it as the default device. Next, right click on your chosen device, then choose properties at the bottom of the list. Firstly, double check that it says use this device, next to device usage at the bottom. If it doesn't, select this from the drop down menu. Every time you wish to test the change, you will need to click apply first. Now go to the next tab, which is levels. Make sure the top slider is not muted and set to a reasonable number. If you have unbalanced sound on the left and right, click the balance button and make sure both the sliders match. Next. Go to Enhancements, and I would recommend disabling all sound effects now, just in case that caused the issue. On the Advanced tab, I also recommend restoring defaults, and if that doesn't work, you could change the sample rate, as one could work. The test option next to this will allow you to try all of them quickly. You can also restore default settings on the other tabs that you may have. Next, we'll see if drivers are the issue. Go back to the General tab, which is the furthest left, 
and click on properties of the controller information. Then click on change settings. You will need admin privileges for this though. Select driver and then uninstall device. In the next window, make sure that the delete the driver software for this device box is checked and click on uninstall. You will now need to restart your computer to continue to check whether this worked. Windows may prompt you to restart again to set up Realtek HD audio, so do that if it asks you. Now go back to these settings and this time click on update driver. Finally, click on the automatic option and update to the latest driver if Windows finds one. If you use a device that connects to your graphics card for sound such as a monitor with speakers, then you can try updating your graphics card drivers as well. You could do this on your graphics card software or website. Search for a tutorial on how to do this as it differs for each manufacturer. Next, we need to check that the Windows Audio service is running and starting automatically. Search services and scroll down until you find Windows Audio. If it's running and set to automatic, you don't need to do anything. If it isn't running, right click and choose start. If it's not set to automatic, right click and choose properties, then select automatic next to the startup type. As I mentioned a little earlier about devices that aren't being recognized, software could be causing the issue. Try starting in safe mode and seeing if your device works then. If it does, some software is probably causing the issue. Those are all the solutions I have. Hopefully one of them helped and if you have any other suggestions, it would be great if you could share them in the comments. If I find any other potential solutions, I'll keep the description updated, so check there if you are still not getting any luck. Thanks for watching the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.